This video is going to look at some real life situations and we're going to try to identify the clue words that tell us if numbers are positive or negative and then solve for the amount that they're looking for. When we're looking at some real life situations, um, things that we want to look at is first identify if the numbers in the problem are going to be positive or negative. Uh, one way to do this is circle the clue words to help you identify then if you're going to be adding or subtracting. Uh, you can make a math problem and then we're going to solve it. Some real life clue words um, are in your journal. The list that you see here on the screen is on page six. Wow, that was so big. Da, 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 da. If you're in uh, my class, <laughs> these words are on page six if you need to look back at them when you're doing your assignment later these words that are listed on the left would be positive words the ones on the right are some examples of negative words some of them you're very familiar with but some you might not be so I've provided you that list to help you out when you make your math problems and your story problems example one it says, if it's five degrees outside and the temperature will drop 17 degrees in the next six hours, how cold will it get? So some things we need to identify are the numbers and if it's positive or negative. So the first one says it's five degrees outside. Okay, that's just gonna be a positive five. Then the next one I see, it says it's gonna drop 17 degrees. Oops, sorry about that. Switch back to highlighter. It's gonna drop 17 degrees. Dropping means it's gonna go down, so that's gonna be negative 17. And then the final answer is just wanting to know how cold is it going to be after this time period. So I have one positive number, I have one negative number, positive 5, negative 17. And um, those are different. Remember yesterday we talked about, or earlier, when you have two different types of numbers, you really subtract. So 17 minus 5 is 12. And the biggest number is 17. The biggest number tells you what the answer will be. So it's going to be negative 12 degrees. Question number two. Evan withdrew $45 from his bank account. Then he used his debit card to buy a new video game for $34.89. What was the total amount Evan took out of his account? Okay, now we have some money words that we need to be familiar with. So, withdrew $45 from his bank account. That means I'm taking money away from my bank account. So, that's negative 45. The next number that I see, he used a debit card. A debit card means you're using some of your money. You're buying stuff, so you have less money. Okay, so that one is also going to be a negative negative thirty four dollars and eighty nine cents and then at the end it just wants to know what was the total amount that Evan took if I write these two numbers down I have negative forty five and then I have negative thirty four point eighty nine so both of these numbers are negative if they're the same you really should add remember that Decimals need to be lined up. So when I do put these together, I have 45 and then I have 34.89. 45 didn't have a decimal, so I'm going to add one and fill in the blank spaces with zeros. So I still have 89 cents. And then when I add 45 plus 34, that's 79. Um, the biggest number was negative. That's going to tell you the sign and the answer. So final negative $79.89. That's how much he spent. 
Question number three, the local movie theater reported losses of $475 each day for three days. What was the loss for the three days? Our clue words, when you look at this, the real world situation, I'm losing money. I'm losing $475 each day. And then the other number is um, three days. There's a couple different ways you could do this. Uh, we do want to know that when you lose money, that's a negative. Okay, so I have negative 475. I'm going to do that same number three times, or I could do multiplication. It's up to you. So you can do negative 475, negative 475, and negative 475 three days in a row. If they're all negative, these are all the same, so I should just add. Another way to solve this question is I could multiply negative 475 times 3. Either way you want to do this, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm just going to multiply because that's the last one I put down. So 3 times 5 is 15. 3 times 7, 21. Plus 1 more is 22. 3 times 4 plus 2 is 12, 13, 14. And then when you either have all of them negative, the answer is negative, or if you multiply a negative and a positive, the answer stays negative. So all together, they lost $1,425. The last one we're gonna look at, it says while watching a football game, Billy decided to list yardage gained as positive number or positive integers and yardage lost as negative integers. After these plays, Billy recorded 14, negative 7, and negative 9. What was the net gain or loss? So we want to know overall, did the team go forward more and gain yards, or did they overall lose more and go back from where they originally were? So this time, the numbers are already written for us. I have, whoops. I have one positive number, I have one negative number, and I have another negative number. So you can do this any way you want. Um, I could keep the 14, and then I could put the two negative numbers together, negative seven, negative nine. These two are the same, so they would go together to make negative 16. Then I still have 14. These two numbers now are different, so I should subtract them. These two were the same, so I added them. 14 minus 16 is two. And then 16 was the biggest and it's negative. So my answer would be negative. Altogether, there was a loss of two yards.